Officials say they're working on smoothing out the verification process for the pre-travel testing program that launched yesterday. Long lines and missed flight connections were just a few of the problems passengers faced. Jen Boniza follows up. More people flew into Hawaii for the launch of the program than officials originally expected. The influx of passengers caused some unforeseen headaches and very long wait times. Officials say some hiccups were expected on the first day of the pre-travel testing program. If you've chosen to fly on the first day after us being closed for seven months, I'm very confident people should be understanding. Most who completed the pretest were happy to be in Hawaii and able to avoid quarantine. It didn't go smoothly for everyone. Some people missed connecting flights. Neighbor island airports were also backlogged. One passenger who flew to Kauai says he was told he had to quarantine, even though he completed all the steps on the Safe Travels website. They didn't seem to understand the information that they were looking at and or what the process was or what they needed to do. Kauai County officials said in a statement, Walton may not have been screened properly when transitioning from Oahu to Kauai. These transit travelers whose final destination is a neighbor island with a layover in Honolulu appear to be the most challenging to screen as they are given two separate QR codes. Officials say they're streamlining the process. We're all trying to see what worked, see what maybe didn't work as well as anticipated. And so everybody's adapting. They're already working on new protocols at some of the airports. They're going to move some of the second testing out from Big Island over to the hotels. Ford is rearranging some of the flights so that they can come into other gates so he can spread out his workforce. They're going to do the same, I believe, on Maui. In a statement, Hawaiian Airlines said they delayed some of their neighbor island departures to give travelers time to connect to their flights. They were able to get everyone to their destinations. Sakahara says DOT is working with the airlines to try to prevent another traffic jam with multiple flights arriving all at once. If anyone has any non-technical questions or issues with the Safe Travels website, they can call 1-800-GO-HAWAII. That's 1-800-GO-HAWAII. Jen Boniza, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. More than 